What's up, guys? So, we're answering questions about each other this week. Um, except that me and Shawnee decided it's actually Friday night, just FYI right now. Um, Shawnee and I decided that we were going to go to the liquor store and try out like 90 different kinds of beer. So we're going to be answering questions about members of Lib Lesbian Central. And um, we're also going to be doing a beer tasting at the same time. Thumbs up to that. This is our, our first beer. Is a Frankiscanner West <laughs> beer. <laughs> mm. And the second one I picked because it's called... Look at it. It's called The Devastator. And I picked it because, you know, I'm Devin, and that's the devastator. They had no idea that you were Devin. You don't know. Now you know. Apparently this is not a twist stop. Here. Ooh. And it's warm. Mmm. Is it really? So, we did this, and I kind of forgot that my girlfriend, like, hates all beer except for Bud Light. So this game is going to be called Shawnee tries one sip of every beer and then hands them all to me while I finish them. <laughs> First question. Who can outdrink the others? Now, I have a little bit of a pride issue with this question, first of all, because everyone keeps saying Maddie, Lauren, and Kai, and I don't know how this started. I don't know who decided that these three could drink the most. I want to say that I can <laughs> absolutely, 100% without a doubt, outdrink all three of them. That you're supposed to be backing me up. There will definitely be a showdown at some point in time between all four of us. Second question. Most likely to be a millionaire. Um, I'm going to go with... Maddie. I was going to say Maddie, too. I think she's got that, like entrepreneurship kind of thing where she'll just she just has ideas for things that she wants to do like lesbian central she just wants to start something and she's gonna go out and do it and I just feel like it's gonna be Maddie <laughs> it's crooked <laughs> I don't know how to fix it another beer what's it Mickey Mickey's got another beer okay we're going to do this one and question number three at the same time. Most likely to be the class clown. I think that this one needs to go to either Maddie or Kelly because obviously we know why Maddie is being picked as the class clown. I just could see Kelly doing weird random things and really not giving a shit when she gets in trouble in class. Most likely to have their own children. Everyone was pretty much correct when they said me, because I already know that I want to have my own children. But other than me... I could see Kai wanting kids. Okay. Not now, but I mean eventually. You just like Kai. Kai, I think you got swag. Shawnee has like a slight crush on you, a little bit. Maybe. She just whispered in my ear that she has a crush on Kai. We have an honest relationship. It's fine. So question number five is, who would be most likely to become famous? I think Lauren would be famous for streaking somewhere very public. <laughs> I think you could be famous for that. No, I think Jen. I'm going with Jen for her music because I've seen some of her music videos and they're pretty bomb. So I'll go with Jen. Famous. Question yeah. number six. Who's the best kisser? Good answer. Um, Maddie, you were right when you said I was a tease, because I actually am a big tease. So that was pretty good. I don't know how you could get that, just from the vibes of the internet. <laughs> so I think my girlfriend just changed her answer and said that Kai was the best kisser. Because she has a crush on Kai, as we found out earlier. I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to say Lauren is the best kisser because I feel like she probably has the most experience. Who has the most game with the ladies? I think I'm going to have to go with Lauren again. I think being single your whole life gives you a little bit of game. 
because she could be not single if she wanted to. She could totally not be single if she wanted to, but she chooses to be single. This is why I give you the award for the most game, Lauren. Let's see. Who's the first one to get married? I'm going to go with Holly. She's been with her girlfriend for about 90 years, and I think they live together as well. So they're probably the closest to getting married. Who do you think has the craziest life? Hands down, Lauren. Hands down. I think we need to take just, we just need to have Lauren film her house for one day. She posted those pictures that they took around Christmas or New Year's Eve of her and all of her roommates slash friends naked in a bed together. That is Lauren's life. There's a lot of nudity involved, a lot of alcohol. Um, she wins on that one. Okay, question 10. Who's most likely to spend the night in jail? I'm actually going to go with Jen on this one. Only because she's underaged. And I feel like there's a mm -hmm. lot more shit yeah. she could get in trouble for than the rest of us. Especially if we ever got together. I feel like we, the rest of us could get her in trouble. Who do you think has the highest kill count with the girls? So... My answer for this was way different before I saw Kai and uh, Haley's video. <laughs> Just judging by Kai's reaction to the number that Haley wrote on the paper, I'm going to say Haley. Because apparently Kai was like appalled by Haley's number. <laughs> <laughs> And now I'm just really, really curious as to what that is, and she still hasn't told us, so I'm going to go with Haley. I forgot about that video, but... I don't know, next in line's gotta be either Lauren or Kai. We need to, everyone needs to just write it down really fast and show it at the same time, <laughs> and then we'll see. I already know I lose because I came out last, so I already know that I lose that one. Apparently this week we learned that I am the boring, wifed up, most likely to have kids one, and Maddie, Lauren, and Kai are the fun people. <laughs> I have a fun side, you just don't get to see it. But I feel like you guys should leave your own comments down below and uh, say who you think fits into all of these categories based on what you know about us. That's it for this week, and we will be doing a little bit more with the audition videos next week. I think we're going to be doing some sort of callback for the ones that we like the most. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work yet, but... Hopefully you guys are having a fun weekend and you had a fun and safe St. Patrick's Day and I will see you guys next Sunday.